If you're a dinosaur, what would your name be right now? Big Dick Dinosaurus. <laughs> Stand-up comedy, stand-up comedy, stand-up comedy. Trevor Wallace and Michael Blaustein on our own mother-effing tour. Where am I going to be? I will yeah. let you know. Michael Blaustein. February 24th, which is this Thursday, which is mother-freaking tomorrow. I will be in San Jose, California. Tickets going it's fast. alma mater. Check it out. If, if you went to San Jose State or you go to San Jose State. Yeah. Hi, friends. But go see Michael the San Jose Improv. It's a gorgeous. It's better than a comedy club. It's a comedy club, but it's inside of a really old theater. It's it one looks of my beautiful. Comedy clubs in the world. Uh, March 17th, I'll be in Salt Lake City, Utah with the Mormons yelling about feet. April 16th, guys, April 16th, Los Angeles, California. I will be at the Troubadour Theater. Holy shit, April 16th, Los Angeles. Come out. It's going to be incredible. November 2nd, I will be in Houston, Texas. And November 3rd, I will be in Dallas, Texas. Way more dates to come. They'll come in soon. Guys, go get tickets at BlauComedy.com. Speaking of coming, guess what I'm going to do after this podcast? <laughs> Look, guys, the tickets are fucking moving. It's unbelievable. Um, I'm just going to plug some of these ones that uh you know are bigger and and you know yeah. they need that extra push not that they're not moving town hall new york city is currently at 77 percent sold what? out it's it holds a thousand one hundred so get on in there that's march 24th march 25th we're gonna be at the wilbur theater boston massachusetts Ooh. first show <laughs> is sold out second show is at 63 percent uh, sold out. So it's moving and grooving. Uh, Durham. Wow. Sold out. Atlanta. The first show sold out April 2nd. So we added a late show April 2nd in Atlanta. And then we have Dallas, Texas Majestic Theater. It's the biggest theater on the tour. Big boy. Dallas. If you guys came out to the Plano show, this will be a different show. Plano was in a hotel. <laughs> it was a, it, That wasn't even a comedy club. That was literally community service hours. And, and I'll hug all of you if you came to the Plano show. Come. But, but it's going to be a different show. April 14th, Plano. No, fuck. April 14th, Dallas, Texas. And then Paramount Theater, Austin, Texas, April 15th. Then we're going to run through these. Buffalo, Toronto, Huntington, Long Island, uh, Philadelphia, Baltimore, San Diego. We added a new show Wednesday, May 18th. The first show on the 19th sold out. So we added the Wednesday before. And then we also are wrapping it up May 20th at the Novo in Los Angeles. And that one's also 80% sold out. Guys, if you heard your name, check it out. See you guys on tour. Yes. Fun comedy episode splat. Gabe, do it. There's not much. There's like an hour left of energy. Oh, God. Dad, that wants five hours. Mama wants come come. I, can't She's I will say, though, <laughs> right now, <coughs> Mama got come come. Run it! <laughs> Man, Mama got come come. Mama got come come. Last night you had sex? Dude, I will no, not last night. This morning? This morning. Dude, I had sex on my too. <laughs> Do we come at the same time? What time did you come? Uh Gabe, if you're early. not rolling, I'm early. So <laughs> okay. No, that's uh you know how twins like do something and they feel it? Like one guy burns his thumb. Yeah. Do twins know when the other twin's coming? Has, has to. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. He's at an Arby's and he's like, oh, God. Yeah, I would fuck around with my twin all the time. You would what? I would fuck around with oh, my twin I, all I, the time. I didn't hear the word uh, around. around oh, I. what? Fuck my twin? <laughs> that, that happens all the time. That's like that's like making love to a mirror. Hot. There was well, a twins on the news the other day that the two identical twins married two other identical twins and then had uh, identical twin babies. You have to. And they all live in the same Imagine house. Imagine no. one kid pops out just like a normal chick. Dude, yeah, he's hold like, on. hold on, I don't get one. Right, <sighs> hold on. Real what is quick. it about twins that like, uh, like Freaks when you see twin out? girl? Well, well, that, but like, when you went to school, like every school only had one group of twins. If they're every, you had to kick them out. You can't come back. But right, uh -huh. but it's like if there's more than one twins, it was like it would throw off the balance. But the twin girls, you'd always be like, there's something about it, man. All these fucking weird fantasies pop in your head. You like, what if I was making love with the one and then the other one walked in? It's like my turn. None of that's ever gonna happen. Yes, it does. Not to me. To me, please. Huh. I really. I, what happened? This what morning? is going on? So First dude, of all, that's just like you know when the the psychologist. The, what do they do with the ink papers? And they're like, "What do ink, you see?" Ink, ink blot. Yeah, yeah. The, called? Rorschach I always, the Rorschach test. The Rorschach text. They yeah. go, "What do you Worcester see?" Worcestershire sauce. Yeah. That's really good on steak. <laughs> but whenever they go, they go ink blot test. They go, Wait. "What do you see?" I go, uh, "Come, tell me it doesn't look like come. It looks <laughs> like a bat or come <laughs> or or both. How does Batman come?" That's Spider-Man. That's Spider-Man. Spider -Man. How does Batman come? Batman. Would you be Batman? Because I think that's the best superhero to be. Batman? You'd be a hot-ass Bruce Wayne. I'd be the Hulk. Stupid. I know. That's dumb. You can't drive in Hulk? small sedans. Hulk's cock. Is huh? it big? Wouldn't it be funny if his dick didn't get Hulkish and so he just had a human cock? Dude, the but Hulk he... is just so dumb, he just says what he's doing. He's like, Hulk smash. It's like, we know you're smashing. 
I mean, just blew out an entire complex. Yeah, Connecticut is now in the fucking ocean. <laughs> oh, come. All right. You don't have to say your name every time. Get What was it? Wait, so what do the Inkblots do? Just to be like, where's their head at? It's like clearly a seahorse, exactly. but they're like, that's, that's a dad murdering four people. Yep. That's exactly what it's for, yeah. Well, it could be clouds. You can just do clouds. Can you bring up the Inkblot test so we see what we see? Yeah, I want to do one. Yeah. I that's definitely right. want to do one right now. You had sex this morning? I did. How was What it? time did you come? I don't... 11? And? Honestly, bro, I came at like... I came at about 11. Wow. Hold on. Gabe? Gabe. <laughs> it's like I was editing this stupid fucking podcast. <laughs> yeah, no, I haven't come today. Oh. You haven't come today? No. I got well, it. go in the bathroom. We, everyone <laughs> wants to be relaxed. Do we? No. Yeah. I feel good, though. I've felt better. Uh-oh. <laughs> Betterhelp.com backslash socks. What's wrong? Uh, just fatigue. Oh, a little tired? Just tired. Lo- tired? tired. Ah, uh, come on. What have you been doing? Ah, Shows. Touring. Nah, nah. Touring. You don't, nah, you don't, you don't work hard. <laughs> You're right. What is a... All right, so uh, ignore the text there. Just look at this block. That's card. a Rorschach. This is a Rorschach. Oh, that what does do you look like a bat. Uh, it. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. It looks like the two Taco Bell dogs on left side, right side, okay, okay. licking out of a water fountain in the middle. Okay. Doesn't it? Yeah, I can see that. What does Yokiro mean? Um, give me. Does it? I would assume. Well, he's just like Yokiro Taco, Taco Bell. Give me Taco Bell. That was, one dude, more, he crushed that line. If one more fucking person looks out of my Greta and says, "Oh, a Taco Bell dog." I'm going to up- uppercut them. Right Where's their- Greta? Where is she? The Taco Bell dog. I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> what do you see? Um, I see a cartoon uh, frog in the middle uh, with... Uh, it looks like a frog getting his ass eaten. I'm going to be honest. Where? Where's the ass eaten? The, at the very top, Gabe, mouse down. That's <laughs> the ass and the legs are behind it. Just spread up. Oh, These right here. A psychiatrist is listening to this be like, all you guys are wrong. Be locked up. You need help. Uh, Better help. Gabe, yeah. what do you see? I see it. Well, now, as soon as you said it, I see. I the actually Taco see Bell dog. Yeah, because this is the this is one of the ears, right? This is the other ear. Could look like a Pokemon a little bit oh, too. Yeah, I can see that. Um, looks like the Stanley Cups in the middle. Two two Taco Bell dogs with a Stanley Cup in the middle. I'm gonna be honest. It looks like a pussy. Um, it looks I, like well, a pussy right in there, and then the middle is the G spot. Uh-huh, right there. Act like it doesn't look a pussy with eyes. A G spot. You don't know where that is. Where that at? <laughs> Siri. What does G Hell. stand for? Go? God damn! <laughs> I don't know. Gertrude? Uh, Greta, probably. What does G stand for? Uh, Not bad. How do you spell that? Uh, I don't. Well, it any, stands for Jones. You love that song. Which one? Not the song. The sound? Julie Fox? Oh. oh. You thought uh, it was funny? Oh, I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny. Right when she goes, John, I'll shove my cock in her mouth. <laughs> 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 How pissed you think Safty is? Who's Safty? He's Safty Brothers is like really, really, really incredible directors. And this stupid idiot lady. Actually, I don't know if she's stupid. I, I don't know anything about her. But I just hate when she goes. She essentially took credit for Uncut Gems because he was backed up and wanted to come on her face. Is that what it was? He was like, I'm stressed and I need to nut. Well, she was like, Better I was help, his Donna. muse in to make the film. I didn't even know what a muse was until this morning. I thought it was a band. It is also a band. <laughs> Muse is a band? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I thought she was like, I was Josh Zabdi's like singer, songwriter. Muse. <laughs> yeah. No, what, it's a Muse, is, a Muse is a, so I think it's just someone who inspires you to make art. Bro, think about the name Amusement Park. I mean, <laughs> better name. Amusement. <laughs> I mean, you could have come up with anything. Roller coasters. It's an amusement park. Fun I hate park. Well, I don't know about that. Oh, hold on. So Amuse, you were, Gabe, you were talking about off mic. You were talking about how like Amuse is essentially like. When they you're not wanna, creative as somebody who like sucks you off. Y- well, you want to fuck them so bad that you create art. Yeah. What? When I want to fuck someone so bad, I create cum. Yeah. <laughs> but that is art. And that's a Rorschach test. That's not even the word. What is it? Rorschach. 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 Uh, Rorschach. Did, you'll never guess what the G and G spot stands for. I'll I'll tell you right now. Gizmo. Get a labos. It stands for Grafenberg. After what? famed gynecologist Dr. Ernst Grafenberg. Dude, bro. If, if you're a dude you and want to be me? a gynecologist, I Fuck. mean, get some pussy alone. Like, think of that. What? I like, huh? Also, the wife is like, "Hey, you want to?" He's like, "Ah, it's work. It's work." Imagine coming home and the wife's like, "You smell like pussy." He's like, "I know. A lot of clients that." <laughs> yeah. But think about that. The G spot is named after this dude. Dude, fuck a Hollywood star. He got cooters named after him. Like all of them. Like every cooter the in the world. 
the amount of times his name has been brought up in the bedroom, like, oh, the G spot. But also Grafenberg. That's but, his spot. Right, but Grafenberg, like, that, like pe- that's like he put the flag in the moon. That's the moon landing's spot. fake, right? I think this whole world is fake. It's all right. This Matt, is styrofoam. You're an alien. No, I don't know. I'm a projection of your consciousness. What? Rorschach test. That's what I'm gonna yell when I come. Rorschach. <laughs> Okay, let's get what's, back on track. <laughs> who, who would, okay, in a world where you uh, would uh, be single or have approval from the lady. Uh oh. Who's your muse? My well, girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah, man. I was going to say the same thing. Do, yeah. How do you say other things? She paid me $10 to ask you that. Who? Her. Oh. Your girlfriend. Oh. Uh, you passed. The old lady? Yeah. I pa- oh, I passed. Right, I think yeah, you said she the passed. Who, who's it actually? Cut the cameras. <sighs> But the muse is so okay. Can we? I just want to break down what a muse is before I answer this because I don't really know. Gabe, can you bring up the actual definition it's of muse? Somebody who you want to have a fucking wild night on peyote and palm springs and possibly touch cooters. Let me tell you something real quick. And Gabe, I'm going to get right back to you in two seconds. I watched half of this movie on the plane. First, what movie? I'm about to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I love how I asked too, like, I'm going to know it. You're going to be like the Lizard Lot King. I don't fucking know. That sounds like a good movie. That sounds like a John Sapte mad movie. Um, What? First fight, last duel. The first duel. First duel or last duel. duel. Did you see it? No, I haven't seen it. Really good. I'm I'm only halfway through. But there's a scene where there's just like a duke or like a cousin of the king. I don't know what the fuck he is. Some captain. Duke. I don't know. Yeah. Mike Krzyzewski coaches him. What is a duke? (laughs) Um, I don't know. I, I think they're they're like in the royal family. It's like you're not a Kardashian, but you're in the fam. You know, you're like a Scott Disick type beat or like a Rob Kardashian. Like you, yeah, you're you like, still roll with the big dogs, but you might not be a head honcho. Yeah, you're like a you're still you're still asked to the party. Like you get an invitation. Yeah, but you're not like you're not you're, yeah. the reason you're going is not for you. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, but there's this one scene. Actually, there's two scenes where there's just like. I don't. Sex. Oh, this is where I'm getting to, Daddy. You were watching sex on a flight, huh? I, I. You ever get weird of I, with the sex scene? I turned my phone. 100%. Also, the dude next to me shot up an aquarium. This guy was a nightmare. I don't know what he was doing. He had this littlest fucking iPad, and like, I don't know. I think he was like breaking into the Pentagon. I don't know what he was doing. He had a full thing on. Oh, dude, we got to talk about the uh, the driver from the hotel. We do, but let me just finish this plot, and then we yeah. get back to the muse, and then we'll do the driver thing. Yep. I'm set I'm, list. I'm fucking... Are you on Adderall right now? I feel good. You came today. Yeah, you're right. I'm empty. Isn't that weird? You're just out <laughs> in the world being like, I already did the thing. That's why so, I love I love when I'm empty because then girls are like, hey, I'm like, get the fuck out of here. And then 12 minutes go by and you're like, hold on, come back. Oh, yeah. Um, is that why it's comeback? Okay. So, <laughs> I'd like to... Insert ad break. <laughs> I always feel so bad for those companies when the guy's like, 9-11's a hoax. And it goes, hey, Tide commercial. It's like, I feel so bad for Tide. What? Oh. When they do the ad break at the wrong time, like they're really getting into something horrendous. I don't think Tide would sponsor a podcast. <laughs> oh, no, but, but you know what I mean. They're on CNN. They're talking about like how Sandy Hook's not real. And then all of a sudden they, they go into a Krispy Kreme commercial. You're like, that's fucked. That's fucked. Yeah. We have nine things cooking right now. And I'd like to just finish this. The last duel. There's a scene. Where he's talking, all of a sudden they he turns around and there's just like probably seven women on the bed, and the Naked? king, the king or whoever the fuck position he is, is sitting the there. Duke? They're having a, yeah, they're having a serious conversation, and he keeps going. He keeps going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Take off your pants. Yeah, cool, cool. Take off your pants. And then the, eventually they settle their argument and they just take their pants off and they fuck the seven women together. Okay, can I do that? <laughs> yeah, seven. Yeah. You the, were watching this on a plane? On a plane. Next to it. Tits out? Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Let me ask you this. Yes. The answer is yes. Please. Seven women. We're, I'm coming d- d- fast. Blue no, chew. No, no, Okay. No. I'm numbing my cock down. Can't feel nothing. How was it? I don't know. I fucked the no, air. Did, did, did you bring this on the flight or the flight had this to play? The, the flight had it. Oh, the flight had it? Mm-hmm. That's wild for me to put a scene with that. That's 14 tits. So many tits. I mean, what do you do? Yeah, it's one thing if you catch a glimpse of one, but 14? 14, and Adam Driver was going in. He's piping? Oh, yeah. You could see it? I mean, you could see the strokes. You couldn't see his cockiness. I would love to see his cockiness. I'm sure it's pretty. I don't think he... I, I, I don't think he's uh, sculpted. What's it called? With a fucking... Chiseled? Thank you. Not... where You know, oh, turtleneck. Uh, What's it called? 
circumcised. Circumcised. My dad what does sent that me, mean? My dad sent me a picture a of, my, what, what, what? of my bris. <laughs> of my bris. What is that, the foreskin? Yep. Why? I don't he know. still has it? Yeah, he jerks off to it. He... Um, he has a picture of, I mean, not, it was like a lucky rabbit's foot. He keeps it. <laughs> I don't go anywhere without my son's foreskin. <laughs> it's really Let weird. me on that flight. Really weird. He has it. Urns are weird too. Put grandma Anything. in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? God, You're like Tony decorating Baker for Christmas. And funniest then joke about that. Who does? Tony Baker. Oh, right. Well, no, but his son has yeah. a fortune, but he had the urn. And uh, he was looking at the urn. He goes, is my son really in there? It's funny. It could be anybody's ashes in there. It's so funny. There's probably mulch in there. You don't even know. Are you going to open them up? Do you think it smells like them? I, no. I, don't I think, think it so. just, that's what I'm saying. It's going to be anything. Foreskin. Like Your dad has it? My dad. No, no, no. It wasn't a picture of my foreskin. It was a picture of my dad and my mom holding me after the bris. And he just sent it to me. That was the last time they were together? It, Take a photo. And he's like, goodbye. Oh, my God. Yeah. My foreskin left, and he did too. Comedy, let's go. Muse. Sati Muse. So the point of that story was to be like, you watched an orgy on a flight, and were you chubbed up at all? A little bit. I'm not going to lie. Because I was just yeah. like, God damn it. Those times back in the day, and I'm sure there's parts of the country, country, well, country too, parts of the world where that still exists. Some sultan of fucking mobile Valdez yeah. is just piping down nine women. But like, God damn it. Yeah. God damn it. I remember our, uh, a couple of flights home. I think it was from Chicago, mm -hmm. actually. John gave me the the editor who films and shoots all my stuff. He gave me the Emily Willis sketch to review on the flight. Yeah. And I'm just watching, a, you know, just sitting there, aisle seat. Everybody's just watching me watch Emily Willis on a flight. And everyone's like, <sighs> yeah, <sighs> there's a lot of buildup in this quote unquote sketch. Yeah. That's not the Wind pressure of the, the fuselage. That's my cock. <laughs> Damn. If you're sleeping on a terrible mattress, your sleep will be terrible. It's simple, quick mass. But that's why I recommend Purple Mattresses. It's the only mattress that have the gel flex bow, 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 grip. grip. It's super stretchy, ultra squishy, <laughs> hard material <laughs> that too. adapts and flexes around pressure points that <clears throat> doesn't retain heat, unlike memory foam, which remembers everything. everything. Thanks to the Gel Flex Grip, Purple Mattresses bounce back as you move and shift. Fucking, you'll never have that I'm stuck in a oh no Step feeling bro. people get with memory foam. Guys, they sent us mattresses, Purple sent us pillows, and honestly, I've never slept better. No, you do, but like these people are everywhere. You've definitely heard them. They're in every goddamn shop, so uh, they're legit, man, and it's a color. <laughs> That's true. So try your purple mattress risk free with free shipping and returns. Financing is available to getting a great night's sleep starts with having a great mattress. Get purple mattress. Go to purple.com slash socks. Use promo code socks for a limited time. You can get 10% off any order of $200 or more. That's 10% off any order of $200 or more at purple.com slash socks. Promo code socks. Terms apply. Terms apply. Goddamn. In today's second ad of the podcast, is free. Well, not free, but it, but you're going to get a discount if you uh, keep listening. Yeah, you do. It is the premium smoke free, spit free, tobacco free nicotine pouch that can be used anywhere and comes in a variety of flavors and strengths. We're talking high impacts of the nine, 12, even 15, 15. milligrams, or their new low nicotine, three and six. If you, you know, want that little quick hit. Convenient and discreet, unlike traditional nicotine products, free is spitless. Ain't nobody want spit in a guy. Dude, one time I swallowed dip spit, I almost killed myself. With this, there is no spit, all right? And it's smoke-free, so it can be enjoyed anywhere, in church, in the back of a Dave & Buster's, whatever you want. Free Literally. tins are only $4.29, goddamn. And you get 20 large white pouches per tin. That's uh, really the best price per milligram on the market. They got wintergreen, mint, mocha, lush, and sweet. What and is cum. lush? What? Let's get married. And if you are... <laughs> like... 
So look, um, huh. this is a great thing if you're if you're trying to you know cut back on smoking, or honestly if you just don't want the smell of smoke, and or you got to be discreet. You know, a lot of people got jobs. Well, you got to like be discreet about it. You're a truck driver. You're a fucking substitute you teacher. You work for the CIA. So guys, I I uh, they sent us a bunch of these tins of them. They're the best. Uh, I I'm a you know a nicotine connoisseur. I like a yeah. little bit of nicotine. Yeah, you do. It's yeah. 15, 15 milligram pouches, man. They're great. Uh, the flavors are all good. I like the sweet ones. Um, big fan of these. Hell yeah, man. So look, Gabe's uses promo code, which is, uh, you know, inside trading, but that's fine. Use promo code <laughs> stiff socks. One word, stiff socks. You get 30% off your first order. Limited time, limited time. And the website is frepouch.com. Frepouch.com. Use promo code stiff socks to get 30% off your first order. Limited time. Free products are designed for adult use only. You must be 21 or older to purchase and use free products. Please use them responsibly. This product contains nicotine. Nicotine is addictive chemical. Board wear pro. Prohibited. God damn. Fuselage. What is that? In the, it's the fucking thing that we sit in. Why yeah. do they come up with these weird ass names? I don't know. Just say the plane. How do planes go in the sky? Dude, what is Orville Wright doing right now? Is that his name? Orville Wright? Is that the same popcorn dude? No, Orville Redenbacher. That's Redenbacher. Who's? What the fuck is name? Orville. Redenbacher. <laughs> no. Just, I mean, honestly. Just Orville. Dog. Imagine getting clapped out and like, oh, give me the, to me. Oh, Orville. Orville. And, Orville, Horville. And oh, let's go to that town. <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> How are we not at Cooter's Pond right now? I don't understand. Well, <clears throat> here's the thing. I got no uh, cum in my cock right now. Yep. So. You're I'm, out. I'm good. You're good. I'm, I don't need to go to the Cooter's Pond. I don't need nine women. I just need my girlfriend. I love you. She's listening for sure. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Um, okay, where are we at? Oh, muse. Can we get back to that? Yeah, yeah, muse. Muse. So the actual definition for a muse is a person who is the source of inspiration for a creative artist. Okay. But so nothing sexual? It doesn't. It says nothing sexual, but... I think sometimes it is, but I think most of the time it's not. Most of the time it's like you hang out with a person and they just serve as, you know, exactly what we just read, like inspiration. But like... I, I just... I really... And maybe I've said this before, I really do forget. Bro, imagine if her pussy... Got an award for that. Oscar winning pussy. And the award for best muse goes to <laughs> Unkai John. Like, if I, I'm going to the party being like, let me give a speech. Yeah. And it was a short one because I came quick. I don't know. Do you see her in that movie? I haven't seen that movie. God damn. Hot? She's hot in a very, like, New Jersey will beat your mom up if she gave you the wrong like with Vicky Valancourt yeah. daughter boy yeah yeah very much that so. was my first WCW right there let me tell you something dude bruh you think you like ass she got ass let me tell you a secret uh, oh in the movie I don't know if she has a regular ass all the time but in wait, the movie wait, you thought it's photoshopped I, you know sometimes they be eating like Brussels sprouts and her ass gets big just for the movie and it shrinks down you know, you know how we all know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> no, but you know, you know, sometimes they like get like jacked or for, like dudes get like bigger for movies or skinnier for movies, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if like she did like special ass work for the, the movie. I don't know. For I don't scientific know if... purposes, respectfully, Gabe, can you pull it up? Yeah. very Pull it up! Very respectfully, pull it up so I can pull it out. Jamie, pull it up. Motherfuckers don't be pulling out sometimes. They I didn't pull out this morning. Stupid. Uh, got John. Look at this. <clears throat> Hello. Good night. Hello, good night, goodbye. God, yeah. Damn, that's an, uh, Yeah. That is, dude. What is her name? Julia Fox? Yeah. I mean, dude, she's she's everywhere right now. So Julia she, Fox. Whoever is doing Julia her marketing. Julia Fox. Sorry. Well, I'm interrupting you. No, I was just saying she I'm just curious to know what she's gonna turn this <clears throat> into from now. Well, she's writing a book. She's got a book coming out about dating Kanye. About dating Kanye? Yeah. It was two weeks. She, yeah. Are they? How many pages is that? Nine? Are they done? Yeah. yeah. She ended with them on Super Bowl. Oh fuck. Yeah. Well, how do you how do you end it with Kanye? You send him like a Rorschach test and be like, figure it out from a distance. Yeah. yeah from you another. Don't, you state. don't be like, hey, roll over. I'm good. You got to be like, this is not working out, and I hope we see other people. Okay, goodbye. Blocked. Yeah, I don't know. What I don't even know if Kanye knew he was in a relationship. He's like, we were dating. Kanye doesn't know he's a human. Right. Um, but I will say that if I was going to, if you're going to break up a Kanye, what would the text be? I'd do Morse code. Yeah. Because that might be a muse for him. He might be like, I'm going to figure out this beat, turn it into something. 
He's dropping another album. Yeah. In two days. Don did two. I think it comes out when this episode comes out. Yeah. But the only way you'll be able to listen to it is on Kanye's uh, specific MP3 player. Oh, I heard this. Yeah, he's got his own little. It's like a. It looks like a walk, like a small Walkman, and you can. Uh, Why are we just going back in time? Yeah. Well, his it's whole come thing out is on like motherfucking Zoom. He he <laughs> says that they're not that artists don't make enough money on like the streaming platform, so you got to buy this two hundred dollar piece. Kanye of is worth all of Connecticut. Here's the thing, though. I don't. Soldier Boy said something hilarious. He was like, he was holding up racks of fucking money. He goes, "Man, Kanye never, never showed a rack, not one time, never once." And you think about it, you're like, he doesn't, and which is fine. You don't have to. But I'm getting to the my point, which is, how much is Kanye honestly worth? There was a time where he was like asking Will Smith for money, asking fucking. Uh, you don't what, think, bro? You, all of his clothing is probably made more money than his music. One hundred percent. Yeah, I mean the the Yeezys thing was bananas, but like, I I don't know. I I just I think it's crazy. I think he just spends a lot of money. I think he spends a lot of money. Didn't he just get a deal with like Old Navy or something, which is a Gap, wild collab? Oh, Gap. That makes a little more sense. Kind of West Network. Dude, Internet says one point eight bill. Yeah, I mean, dude, he's fucking one point eight bill. Out. Yeah, he's racked out. You dude, you said Kanye West might not be rich. Yeah, but we don't know. I'm just saying, one point eight liquid. You listening to Soldier Boy? Yeah, he has great shoes out. I actually looked through the shoes, I and I wanted to, to hate. They're not bad. Really, I would love to get Soldier Boy on this podcast. We could, you, we could. Yeah, I mean, well, I think it's like that. The thing is, like, the richer you are, the less you kind of start to flex. Like all the dudes in first class on flights, just normal ass business dudes, button up, slacks, nothing. Always some dude in row thirty four with like a Gucci headband, and you're like, sir, sir. Sell that Supreme so you can buy your kid some fucking milk. <laughs> your kid's seat is in the bathroom on the back of the plane. All right. Do you have to buy a baby a seat? I don't know. How, how what's the age cut off? Or is the age cut off? I don't know. Dude, there was a People woman in sure front of me. Like... There's a woman in front of me on some plane that we were both on, and there, she was like, the woman had a kid that was like two, and she tried to give everyone lollipops. She gave me a lollipop. You took it? No. Okay, well, good. The flight attendant put it on my like. Little like the yeah. armrest and was yeah. like, hey, this is from the lady behind you. She has a kid. I'm like, I love the gesture and the thought because it's like, hey, here's a kid. Here's a lollipop. But it's like, keep the lollipop for the kid. Kid's crying. Boom, lollipop. Yeah, well, I don't need one. Yeah. She's like, oh, he's going to kick your seat. Okay, I'll kick your kid off the flight. <laughs> okay, how about that? But the kid was, it, it, was, uh, it wasn't as wild as she it wanted it to be, yeah. but it was a little wild. The kid was I a little wild. I appreciate the gesture. <clears throat> Me too. Well, I, it wasn't as crazy as the lady playing music off a of Bluetooth speaker. I can't believe. Oh, you actually did bring it up. Dude. What flight was this? Where this was we? going to D.C. By God, the way, D.C. Was, show's this... great. Pittsburgh was awesome. Yeah, D.C. and Pittsburgh were really, wild. Really fun. Um, there was a woman <clears throat> that was next to me on the flight, and she stated that she hasn't been on a flight in 17 years, <laughs> and it all makes sense after I say this. She was playing the Titanic theme song oh, yeah. <laughs> on a fucking Bluetooth speaker. Loud. That true. Like, think about how loud it has to be for me to hear, but also for a lot of the plane to hear. It was probably Bluetooth. full blast on a Bluetooth speaker. She's that an elderly woman. She, bl- on, the, on the descent. So, it, uh, first of all. Weird the, song to play when you're about I'm to land. Saying. That's what you play when you're about to go into a Walmart. Like when the plane's about to crash into a fucking La Quinta. Not <laughs> yeah. like, not like. No, when I, it's gonna, yeah. yeah. It was, it was incredible. And she kept talking. She kept like, she was one of those people, which it's fine, but no headphones and wanting to just converse the whole time. Yeah. With the people in front, with me. Ma'am. You're just in her bubble. Ma'am. You get in these words. Sit down. Sit down. I don't, I do yeah, not want to talk. part about flights is like, uh, people take it as an invitation to just be chatty. Most times, you know, you put headphones on and you sit next to a stranger for four hours and you never think about that person again. This lady, I'll think about. It is, it is really weird to think about what you just said. You just Meaning sit, next, you to sit a next to a stranger for not 10 minutes, mm-hmm. like four or five four hours. hours. Imagine if you sat next to somebody like that at a Buffalo Wild Wings, just sat there and didn't say anything. Well, I don't do it in New York. You get you get tables and you're literally if even if you're with somebody, New York you, tables are too sit, close. Yeah, you sit next to someone who's for real in your conversation. Yeah, like you you're hear break, a lot of. Oh, dude, you're breaking up with your girlfriend. You hear she, a lot of weird shit over there. Yes. But it's like almost entertaining. Oh, it's great. You're, and you can tell because like you can 
you ever do that where you're like you're like looking at the person you're sitting with but you're still listening so yep. you're like very having like very small talk you're like and the chicken pump you hear that shit oh, dude yeah. that happened in uh where was i where was i chicago chicago this this guy uh this guy and this girl were on a date next to me and the lady and very close tables. And then they're talking. And then she goes to Google something on his phone. And I guess he had like Googled some girl. And she's like, why were you Googling? This girl's like, oh, I just fucking. Oh, and he's like, don't do this right now. Don't do this right here. And then the whole thing's going down. I'm just sitting there eating like a wedge salad. Like a <laughs> bitch. And I'm like, it's getting heated. Anyway, speaking of uh, insane people, uh, you know, hotels near the airport usually have like a shuttle. Yes. Yeah. We took a shuttle. Oh my lord! This lady was you, dude. Oh. I literally felt like I was on like a, a a reality show, or like like there's hidden cameras. Like uh -huh. she was a character, and then some. Like she was already a character in life, and then a director was like, "Play this crazy More. lady." Yeah, she was like maybe like what fifty one or something. Maybe fifty one. Kind of. Uh, I don't even. What is she? She. Oh, like what she looked like? Me? Yeah. Like she like, looked. What would, if she you saw looked the like street. right. She looked like she had three kids, and she was at like a soccer game in like February. Like she had like a like she had that look where she like probably had good orange slices that she passed out in halftime. She looked a little crazy. I don't think she would. She would have had like uh, like honeydew. Oh, like a wild. She was one. off. But <clears throat> right. The second we get there, she starts talking. She goes, "You look like you guys are locked up with me, boys." I'm like, "Okay, it's enough energy, right?" Yeah. And then uh, after she keeps going on, she goes, uh, "Yeah, I don't even. I'm not even supposed to be driving these shuttles. I'm usually a secretary." And I was like, "Okay, interesting." She goes, "Yeah, both my parents were NASCAR racers," and I was like, "All right." And then she goes, I've been in seven car accidents. <laughs> Guys, real quick, unprompted. Oh, yeah. No one was even saying anything. I was losing my mind. She goes, I've been in seven car accidents. Only one of them was my fault is what she said. Which means all of them were her fault. And she also said she had been hit by two Mack trucks. I was like, is this a Cardi B song? What yeah. the hell is <laughs> at, going on? At some point, it's your fault. If you get in seven accidents. But also, don't tell us that while we're driving in your car. And she didn't even give us any time. It wasn't like, oh, let's uh, let's have some conversation and like, aha, joke, joke, here's, here's some jokes. It was just right out of the gate. Yeah. Right out of the gate. And then she starts going on as how she drinks uh, river water. And she goes, that's how I beat COVID. I was like, ma'am, I don't know. Oh, God, I wish everybody could see who this lady was. She said that she swam in the Ohio River and drank some of it. So that was her immunity to COVID. Which honestly probably works. Yeah. Anyone it's who, Ohio. Oh. But I, I was, oh, I'm going to be in Ohio this weekend. Columbus. But <laughs> I just, she, she, she was just nonstop. We weren't saying anything. She just Nothing. kept going and going and going. And I, here's the thing. I think I, <clears throat> there's part of me that's like, man, I really respect that. You know, you're living in Pittsburgh. You're working at the Hampton Inn, and you, you, you drive people to the thing. It's like, let's just spice it up a little bit. Let's say some wild shit. I'm hoping that none of it was real. I'm hoping that she was I like, fuck it. was it. all real. 100% real. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. The Ohio River is the most polluted river in America. Oh, 100%. Is that, is that worse than the one in New York? It's got... Uh, how is it worse than the Hudson River? But it reminded me... Have, have you guys seen Dumb and Dumber when... Jim Carrey is driving the girls to the airport and he turns around and he goes, well, I don't know the quote. He goes, statistically, you're more likely to die on the way to the airport than actually at the airport. Like, yeah, it yeah. felt like that. It did. And it's fucked up because we're locked. We're stuck. Yeah, I was waiting for her to just drop a couple facts about like, you know, this airport's really haunted. Oh, what flight are you taking? Ooh, good luck with that. <sighs> yeah, she seemed very... Um, I was just like, okay, we should probably just do Uber from now on. You know what she seems like? Do you have an aunt that when you're at Thanksgiving or whatever just gets too drunk and you get cornered and you're like, what is happening? I have this aunt that is a very sweet woman, but when she gets a little tipsy-turby, it's just like a nightmare. And she's from Britain and she just goes at America. Really? Madam, goes at America, told me that she thought my dad was cute. <laughs> What's happening? Well, what is any happening? Any other family big? That's weird. But from your past experiences, <laughs> I'm like that. Just seems like it's all part of the menu. That's bro, a part of the syllabus, bro. She said my dad was cute. I go, what? What's their relation? What is their relation? Like how? Oh, aunt, not, that's like your mom's sister. So, so no. So it's my mom's brother's wife. This is a Pornhub title. Yeah, 
that that obviously my dad met and they conversed, maybe fucked. I don't what know. What does converse mean? C- talked. Uncle James talked. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's just playing my head <laughs> repeat for the last 30 minutes. Yeah. Uncle James. That's the whole book. I hate it. What is it? Uh, I don't know, but I will say this. <laughs> yes, um, I had a funny moment. Uh-oh. Uh, I think it was two nights ago. Not two nights. Whatever the hell. But the lady doesn't wear bras. Hey, come on now. And uh, Oh, I know. <laughs> you seen them? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm totally joking. <laughs> Your girl wear bras? Uh, no, my girl's making clothes now. They're what? actually really good. Etsy? I think so. Like, what do you mean? Just like, like, like cutting two shirts and sewing them together? Yeah, dude. She like... I gave away a bunch of clothes out of my closet and she just took the bags and now she's like cutting all my old clothes and like making clothes. Like a quilt? No, like clothes. Like fucking making shirts and pants and shit. And I'm gonna be honest. When she first told me that, in my head I go, this is gonna be trash. (laughs) This is gonna be like made from an AIDS quilt. It's gonna be awful. Really good. Yeah. Like for like for real good. Like she keeps making stuff. Like if she goes to parties, she'll like make a shirt for the party and then I go to the party and people are like, oh, it's so like... She, uh, we like had dinner and she wore a shirt that she made from dinner. And I was like, shit's like for real good. I want to see it. Dude, she has a, her. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you. It's like for real good. What was, why, how do we get here? Uh, uh no bras. bras. Nipples. My girl, I don't know. She doesn't, she doesn't wear bras super often. She, Cause she got nice pants. They just sit there. <laughs> hey, 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 hands up, bitch. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I guess. I mean, I'm so out of the loop on everything. She's like, "Yeah, bras are bad for you." And I'm like, uh, "Why are they bad for you?" I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't think they're great for the tit. They squish the tit. Uh, you ever have a squish tit? <laughs> squish tit. They seem so uncomfortable. The holy oh, shit. Oh yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. I, I I don't know. I don't know. It's probably just more comfortable to just go no bra. It, but it's really like the the mask. I think it's like wearing a mask. Here's the thing. But she didn't wear. It. Which kind of takes a little bit of fun out. Because y'all getting freaky, you just take a shirt off, they're just there. I like it. I don't know how to take a bra off. That's where I'm going. Okay. But sometimes that, but I, yeah, no, I agree. Yeah. But sometimes you like that little like, and we were uh, doing the, the love and making. And I was like, you know, sometimes you got to put a bra on. I'm just like, a, I was the king of that shit in college. Yeah, I can show you what I, yeah. Yeah, I could one hand that shit. I can do it real quick. She's like, you, you probably suck that. I was like, I can do it real quick. I was like, I bet you 20 bucks I could do it within three seconds. Three seconds. <laughs> yeah. That's so fast. But in my head, I was like, w- like the second your like finger touches the back, be like, all right, one, two, three. Like that, that's what it makes sense because you're just popping two hooks. Uh, I know, but ha- have you tried recently? Well, them, that's what I did. Them bras got Bluetooth. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch is touchscreen. How am I get this off? <laughs> but so she's like, all right, let's do it right now. And I was like, all right, fine. Uh-oh. Uh oh. And and let me tell you what, <laughs> your boy. Lost 20 bucks. <laughs> Dude, it probably took me 15 seconds. Really? It was awkward. That's still not bad, though. Uh, 15 well, seconds is a long 15 time. 15 seconds, but you're, like, pressed against them. My, like, face is at her ear level. And I'm just like, yeah. How do I? Goddamn. Like, goddamn. Can I use face ID? It's this a, is bullshit. It's a G-spot <laughs> here. But, yeah, because usually, I mean, if you get the two pressure points right, you push up, and then you take the, the top finger and, like, pop it off, you're good. Uh, I did not do that. But I have no, like. I did e- not do that. Even when you're saying, like, I literally. Do not know how to do it. I when I I'm sh- I shit you not. I've said it Bring before. Bring a bra. I'll do it on you. Please. I'd love to. I I don't. I don't. So I don't you, know. The hooks are like this, right? They're in here. Okay. You know, they're like this. You know. I got it. Two straps like this. Yeah. So picture this right here, because I'm gonna move my hands. Now. I got it. I got it. It's in my brain. Right. Four shack. But it. like, you're gonna take these two fingers and push them up. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Push them up. So all this top part. So needs- they're unlatched like this. They're unlatched. Yeah. So you do you like do this. thumb and middle. You yep. thumb in the middle to yep. add the pressure, and then yep. you take that top part to kind of like yeah, yeah. pop and then, the top, yeah, like and soda do, top. And then it goes like that. Yeah, <clears throat> ideally. Okay. And I've done that a few times successfully back in my heyday. Back in my whole days. Day. I remember I said this girl one time in college, <laughs> and, and she was like notoriously like, she would like fuck people's backs up. Like she would scratch them. I hate that shit. It was kind of hot in the moment. No. But the next day I looked at my back and I was like, what in the fuck? I look like a scratching tree for Pluto. God damn. But it was funny because like. put a fucking tic-tac-toe on my back. Yeah, what the hell? But um, it was funny because she had a reputation for doing that. 
And like, so uh, other guys in the frat, they'd be like, how was your night last night? And I like pulled up my shirt. Oh, like, Yo, you slept with beep. Not going to say her name. Yeah. But, uh, I don't like that during those hot, but, at, but, but here's the thing in college, it's the same thing as like when you get a hickey and you're like, I should wear a hoodie, but you're like, well, tank top. It is. There's a little bit of that where you're like, yeah, but hickey's high school and then getting marked up as college. And if you mark me up after college, what are you a Panther bitch? What? Don't t- ow, ow. Right. But like, the, that's what I'm saying. This is college. I was like, mm. I don't care. All, all <clears throat> this symbol is sim- replicates. Sim- what are words? Uh, so that what symbolizes. Had, symbolizes. I had the sex. Yeah. I don't care. And it's also like if they're deep and they're bloody, it means you've been putting it down. But some of them for real were. Yeah. That's yeah. what I was also like. I was like, really? That deep for that? Oh, but imagine oh. dating that girl. No. That dude has his dress like a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Scratching the shell. Come on. God damn. Um, real quick, dude, you're listening or watching right now, and you're probably wondering how I look this good all the time. Flip, flip, flap, flap. That's me doing my hair. And if you were here, uh, you'd be wondering how I smell this good all the time. Okay, the answer is Hawthorne. Hawthorne's grooming products are my answer when I want to look this good, feel good, and smell good. And Hawthorne is a premium men's grooming brand that makes it quick and easy to be confidently your best baby with skincare and healthcare made just for you they use data data whatever you say you said healthcare healthcare <laughs> what is this canada it's, it's hair <laughs> care leave it in gabe look skincare hair care made just for you they use data data whatever hundreds of thousands of customers you take a little quiz and when i mean quiz that's really over you know making it sound uh very schoolish yeah it's actually fun it's like how many times a week do you shower what type do you are you a bar guy you're speakeasy guy but they do all this stuff and they tailor scents body wash hair stuff all to you and i still i put it on today the uh, cologne they sent me they send a work one and a play one which Dude, kind of, and i think about it i go am I, am I going to work am i going to play it's phenomenal and what they do is since you take the quiz they know how many how much body wash you use how much fucking shampoo or conditioner yeah. you use so they don't over and send the, you the shit the packaging is sick too the packaging yeah. It's like the off-white of packaging. It's hard. But yeah, a girl walks in your bathroom, you go, God damn, you I rich as a chain as shit. one day, yeah. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, they've been a long-time supporter of the brand, and we still use their stuff. They're great, man. So, uh, And you can take this quiz for your boyfriend. You can take it for yourself, dad, really anything. So make sure you're ready for anything or anyone. That comes your way by taking Hawthorne's quiz today. Yeah, and Hawthorne stands by your customers. So if you're not completely satisfied, they will retail your product for free based on your feedback and pay for the damn shipping. And pay for the shipping. My oh, girl tried to return something the other day and they go, you got to pay for shipping. Well, I'm keeping it now. It's mine. Yeah. It's mine. I'll keep this Tesla. <laughs> but if, well, okay. Anyways, if you want to save 10% off today, uh, go to Hawthorne.co. Not M, Hawthorne.co. Hawthorne, that's H-A-W-T-H-O-R-N-E dot C-O. Use promo code SOCKS. Hawthorne.co, promo code SOCKS. SOCKS. God damn. Uh, what's up, guys? What's hey, up, dude? Uh, did you know this episode is brought to us by Liquid IV? I huh? do now! Uh, Whoa! I went to a bachelor party for my brother in Las Vegas, and I brought a bag of Liquid IVs yeah, uh, for a bunch of alcoholics in uh, Las Vegas. You're almost more popular than the guy giving out the, the free nudie girl cards. I, yep. was the, the, I was the bell of the ball, dude. Uh, everyone was like, oh, holy shit. Dude, I can't it's, believe you it's brought these. massive. Yeah. And like... I don't, I don't want to say millennial generation, but like, it's like everywhere. Like my friends are astonished. I gave my friend a bag for free, like a pouch of, and like when he was at my house, he's like, bro, you don't got to do this. Like, no, these are like a rarity. I was like, bro, just take it. He's like, dude, I can't express how much this means to me, dude. I'll write you my will, dude. Dude, Liquid IV is fire because, listen, we all need to stay hydrated, all right? In 2022, that's one of my goals, to just stay hydrated. You feel better. You got more energy. You really you're do. slammed full of just happiness, okay? And you know what Liquid IV does? Uh, you take one pouch and you put it in 16 ounces of water. Dude, that equals three freaking bottles of water. Yeah, up to two to three. That's crazy, man. It's perfect for hangovers. It's perfect just for the morning because I feel like you're, I'm a big believer. If you start your morning off right, you know, you'll do a good day after. But uh, that was a sentence. But, you know, I just... <laughs> Because you you're you're at home, you're able to get water. Then you're out and you're traveling. You know what the fuck's going on the rest of the day? So this is a good way to get it off, and it's really good. Uh, they've phenomenal flavors, dude. The watermelon one and the strawberry ones are my freaking go to, dude. They also have like vitamin C ones. That was my they, favorite. They have an energy one. They have a uh, matcha lemongrass one. They really have it all, man. They're everywhere too. They're they're fucking. If you haven't heard about it now, then I don't know. You're under a sock. See what I did the the podcast? Stiff socks. But look, man, you can get them uh, at Costco in bulk or check this out. Go to liquidiv.com. 
uh oh, and use code socks at checkout and get 25% off anything. Wow. When you order using promo code socks, that at is liquid IV. Dot com. Experience better hydration today at liquidiv.com. Promo code SOCKS. SOCKS. End of ads. Gabe, hi. Goddamn. Ninja Turtle? What the hell are those? What are... They're Ninja Turtles. It's in the name. Ninja Turtles. There were teenagers. Make them older. And then also, <laughs> also, Splinter, Big Rat. Wait, weren't they mutant? Yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What does mutant mean? Also, the mutated. Okay, okay, but you like I you know what it means, but like, what does it mean? Like, like it's a turtle, like that's walking on his four things. And you, but like, but if you call somebody a mutant, isn't that fucked up? Yeah, very fucked up. So these turtles were mutants. Yeah, they mutated into fucking things that could walk and like pizza. Why the fuck do they like pizza, bro? What What are you doing if a teenage mutant ninja turtle is trying to fight you? I'm putting them on their back. Fight me? Yeah. Can you imagine a six foot turtle walking at you? <laughs> six feet. I think they're massive. I don't like that. Oh, who is, who is their enemy? A big rat? No, the rat was the guy who uh, taught him things. Splinter. Was it? Yeah, the, Splinter was the guy that was like, hey. Taking notes from a rat? Also, yeah. Motherfucker, <laughs> motherfucker taught him karate. How does a rat know karate? Did you ever watch uh, Captain Planet? Yeah, Cap. I know the whole song. Captain Planet, he's our hero. Gonna take pollution down to zip. That didn't work out for them. Nope. <laughs> Global warming. What, what if they, they the started? The writers looked outside and they're like, this is not going to last many seasons. No. I don't know if I like the guy now. I think he was hot. Captain Ooh. Planet? Captain Planet? Yeah. Hot. Yeah. Remember the guy had the green who, hair? who had a heart? Remember they all had cool things like fire, wind. The motherfucker had heart. No. Can I see it? You know, yeah. He was like, fire. They all had like that's, rings, that's right? That's Avatar. The waterbender. Well, sure. Captain yeah, yeah. Planet. Wow. Captain Dude, Planet. He looks like he'd be in the sway house. This guy's fucking hot. He's oh got a mullet. God. He's chiseled. He's got green hair. And he got, that's and Theo Vaughn like if he went to the jail. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the jail? Yep. The jail. <laughs> the jailhouse. Dude, Elvis what? Presley, you ain't nothing but a hound dog. What is he talking about? Horse? <laughs> Wait, but like any guy that can pull off, I, I think Captain Planet and G Easy are the only guys in the history to ever pull off the fucking. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. That's the guy. Who's this? That's Akash Singh. <laughs> He's on the Patreon today. He is. Uh, um, who are you looking for? You said you wanted to see someone? No, he wanted to see this guy. Oh, Remember they all, had, okay. they all had rings. I have no idea who this is. Yeah, they yeah, all had rings. It was oh, like, it they was like did. wind, fire. Dude, the fire guy was so hot. I wanted to be the fire guy so bad. Oh, you can get Captain Planet rings? Of course. Yes, where's this guy? Hot guy. I wanted to be this guy. What's happening with the internet? I think he had a cloak. No, I'm not a cloak. Whoa, uh, dude, fucking, that go, that go, yeah. He looks like me. He, yeah, that should have been your guy. That's my guy. That should have fire in his red hair. Okay, fucking writers. I get <laughs> yeah, you. that makes so much sense. There was also a hot girl that would get, that would get beat up. With my cock. <laughs> what, uh, Captain Planet. I think it was a wind girl. With the power of wind, Linka. Oh, Linka would get beat up. <laughs> okay, hold on. Wait, what were all the Linka, the where powers? you at? Oh, What was Linka. Captain Planet's power? Ooh. Just the planet? Look oh, at Linka. She hot. she hot. Yeah. Wait, what What I, were all the, the powers? Well, Captain Planet would come. Well, hold on. <laughs> Captain Plan it right there. Captain Plan will show up once they put all their powers together, right? When our, yeah, that's what they are. Really? When our powers combined, we are. Blah, blah. What, where is he when they're not doing that? Like, you know, they're like, oh, fucking, if we all yell out this, he'll show up. Where is he then? I think he's like, God. In the Ethernet? Everywhere. The Ethernet? What's that? Remember the Ethernet cable? Where That's how you got internet. Yeah, what the hell? Where's the internet? How come we don't need Ethernet anymore? Wi-Fi. Nothing Wi-Fi. is real. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing is real. Wi-Fi. Dude, how does airdrop work? I don't know. Tell me. Tell me this. We're <laughs> Tell just, me. We're, we're just walking through Wi-Fi right now. We're, we're in the metaverse. Through, we're walking through Wi-Fi. We're walking through T-Mobile. 5G. 5G. That created what? COVID. What about those fucking trees that are 100% telephone towers? Oh, I yeah. love those. <laughs> I, those are so <laughs> stupid. How did that come about? Was somebody like, those are ugly, and a designer was like, I got you. Or he's like, I'm tired of looking at these motherfuckers. Make them look like trees. I think that. They do not look like trees. You ever seen those stupid cartoons where the, the guy's trying to hide from another guy, and then he hides behind like a pole that's clearly, you can clearly see him? Yeah. That's how I feel about He always about those has guys. a mustache that's made out of like a cat's whisker. It's that thin. Yeah, he always wears a hat and glasses. Yeah. I think if you wear a hat and glasses, you're, I can see you more. You look like an idiot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, anyways, Lincoln would get beat up. Why are we talking about Captain Planet? Oh, that shit didn't work. No. It didn't work. Maybe he had the fire and he created global warming. Who's wait, Captain wait, what were the powers? Fire, wind? Fire, wind, water, heart. Heart. That's what I want to get to. Heart. Stupid. Can you imagine? Love? Love. Horny. Ho- Can you Blue imagine? Blue chew? Just, you're like, so this guy has literally fire. 
that wind, water, and I have heart. But a heart can get somebody. This is a long run. That's a long game. I think that's, that'll fuck them up. Yeah. Well, you know what? I think you're right, right? Because I think the heart thing is is more conspicuous or inconspicuous is the word I wanted. So you can like well, it's, dude, you can play that, like bro. the long game. That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> it's like you know she gets in your life and you're like, what was it, a guy or a girl? The heart one. Let's yeah. See. Regardless, whoever it is, they get in your heart, you know, because they are heart. And then, like, they leave you. And then two years down the road, you're like, man, fuck. What's heart up to? Is heart okay? Do you ever have those moments? Do you ever, like, break up, wait, break up with someone? <clears throat> and then, like. You see what? him on the front page of Call of Duty? Well, let's next topic. So. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying? <laughs> was that mean? I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. Um, what was I going to say? Um, you ever have those moments? <clears throat> Yeah, I just I would I guess what I was getting to is like love is it blind can't you see my desire love is love isn't always on time why why is love late sometimes but that's the song love isn't always on time dun, 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 dun. I remember that from Grand Theft Auto GTA I think three San Andreas has some of the best songs on those radio channels love is then all my exes live in texas it's so funny to be listening to like that song and you're going like 100 miles an hour down the sidewalk just <laughs> killing pedestrians <laughs> why well, is there so many hookers in that show i don't know the show in the game i never played it i'm into it yeah anyways so what uh oh metaverse metaverse meta bitch love i just think love is hilarious that you can like be cool for like two three years and all of a sudden you think about her and well, then you crumble thing. do you well, I'm just saying, like, I, personally, right now, no, I'm great, but, like... Those moments in the, the pandy Yeah, pandemic. it's just it's just, it's just hilarious. It's just, I don't know what that is. Well, I never dated somebody long enough. I think my current relationship, yeah. if things ended, yeah. that this would be one where I'd be just driving down to Phoenix, and I'd just be like, love is it always oh. on time! Oh, yeah. Dunna, dunna. Just, yeah. Going, <laughs> just going 100 <laughs> miles an hour into the windmills. Has anyone ever died through that? <laughs> I don't know. That would be so sick. You're skydiving, and that's how you die. But those things out in the desert, Man, know you know you're going to Palm Springs. The wind, those don't, those don't create energy. <laughs> Can I plug in an iPhone here? <laughs> but also, you ever see one that's not going? Hey, you lazy fuck! It's the wind. Yeah, but the but wind's in but charge. Some are going in sailboats. Some are... Sailboats. Sailboats. You know there's sailboats that have engines. <laughs> hey, <laughs> illegal. <laughs> I think they all do. What? Because <laughs> they gotta get out of the dock. But, not, but the Santa Maria didn't have no goddamn engine. You know what's hilarious? Uh, you you don't decide your ETA. The wind does. Stop. Somebody's like, when are you coming here with my herbs and spices? You're like, I don't know. Ask they, Mother Nature. They had no Google Maps? Yeah. Google did, Earth is hilarious. You, you, you ever seen Google Earth to see tits? <laughs> no. Just like through a shower curtain? No. They, they be taking pictures, they, bro. They, they blur everybody out. Stupid. Dude, you know but what? But they have those pictures. <laughs> where are those saying. fucking pictures? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Out of all the paywalls out there where it's like, pay $5 for my OnlyFans. Ah, I drop a cucumber in my ear every Tuesday. The Google Maps one would be the best. Oh, yeah. Also, everybody's leaking emails. Hillary, we're on to you. No, but why don't they <laughs> leak the Google Maps? <laughs> I don't know what the Hillary thing was. I have no idea. But who cares about fucking emails? But they should. <laughs> who cares? About... It's an what email. a hard stand. <laughs> I mean, an email. Who cares? <laughs> all I'm saying is, dude, if Google Maps, you know, how every once in a while it's like, oh, Facebook dumped everybody's, uh, you know, uh, contact information. If Google Maps all of a sudden Bro. unblurred. Bro. And, and. Playboy Mansion location. Enter. Bro, let me let me tell you this. You know how goddamn advanced these satellites are? Yeah. You could zoom in and see the inside of a fucking cooter, no problem. Like, the resolution on these goddamn satellites. What is... Yeah, that's... Holy shit. It's crazy to think that they've covered everywhere in the world with one of these. Oh, yeah. That doesn't make sense. Oh, is this yeah. a video game? Yes. They've covered it everywhere. Do you want... You can want... type anywhere on the map, and they have a... They have a they, the car has been there. Do you want to see a cooter in Afghanistan? Yeah. Enter. <laughs> Enter. Well, that you can do that on Pornhub too. Nope. All right. Control Alt Delete. Is that necessary? Too I many, read. Too I, many read buttons. I read something that they that was a fuck up. Really? Yeah. Can you Google that? Did I just? I don't know. What do you, I read that somewhere. <clears throat> that Control Alt Delete wasn't. They like they easily could have made it one key, but they forgot or some shit. They forgot it had like, and they had to like, whatever this word is, re-engineer it. All right. All right. <laughs> but, you know. Anyways, Google Maps. How much yeah. did you pay to have access to Google Maps? I'm not Google Maps. I'm sorry. Google Earth. 
unlimited access. Thing. It would have to come with like dope addresses. I don't want just access, you know, for no fucking reason. Then you're just scrolling around and you're just getting a bunch of like, oh, fuck, I'm in a retirement home. Anyways, <laughs> um, but here's geriatric pussy. <laughs> Let me tell you something, boy. Geriatric. Is that elderly? Yup. They know what the, they're doing. Nancy Reagan's throat. Oh, no. <laughs> Did your parents ever print out Was it MapQuest mm-hmm. Yeah Before getting in the car Yeah They bagged out And then iPhones came out And they're like Please no Who bought MapQuest I think somebody bought And they bagged oh, really? it really Yeah they had to sell it <clears throat> They had to It's just like uh, What MySpace did Remember Hilarious My- yeah Yeah America AOL bought MapQuest <laughs> Then AOL oh, got fucking God, gatted. Yeah. They're still around, right? AOL, My friend's girlfriend yeah. works for AOL. But how did AOL... Bu- like, I don't understand how they didn't... They just didn't move with the trends? Like, it's, it was murdering. Like, how does a company... What, MapQuest? M- well, I'm just, well, MapQuest, but also AOL. They probably have an app. AOL? AppQuest? Come on. Oh, AppQuest. Not bad. I didn't like it at all. <laughs> 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 all right. What's the most random website you think you see tits on? Like a cooking book, like a cookbook type thing? Uh, what's a random website that I can see tits or on? Or like what's a website? National you- Geographic. Mm, well, that's like for real, but like what's the most one you wouldn't expect it on? Uh, homegoods.org. That'd be tight. You know, people like, uh, we're buying clothes online. They're always like, the model in this photo is six foot two and he's wearing a large. What if they showed online for like mattresses, purple mattress, great plug. Uh, What if they showed on the mattresses, like two people fucking on it. They're like, this guy's six foot one. She's five foot three. And then they show positions just just so you can see how much space or like when they're sleeping, how much space there is. Here's the thing. Why don't we uh, join my idea that I have now and your idea? Why don't on Pornhub. Google Maps. Why don't on Pornhub they have mattress reviews? Yeah. On Pornhub. I mean, what are you doing? Natural, natural brand recognition. There's got to be one on there. There, ha- I mean, because <clears throat> here's the thing: like uh, the memory foam mattresses, I actually love, but I do miss the old springy mattresses because if you caught the right motion, you didn't have to do all of the work. You could sort of use the mattress to spring like her down and spring her up. Fucking. Yeah. Do you, do you know what I'm talking about? You could literally just push your hands down into the mattress yeah, and it would push yeah, yeah. the lady down okay, and spring saying. her back yeah. up. So you get an extra like, you know, quarter of an inch, which I need because I got a small cock. My upper body strength is pretty trash. I'll be up there for a minute and then I like lean into the one arm. <laughs> <laughs> and I get like. You do the like, one arm? Sometimes. I've been just leaning down. I've just what? been putting my full body weight, which is not a lot, but I've been putting my full body weight on my lady. She likes it. I'm like a weighted blanket, but with a cock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, but, but then you're just stroking as normal. Because I'm up here, and then I do maybe the side, but then the side you can grab. It's, it's a whole, like, sideways thing, because then you can grab the leg. Cause yeah. Because you flex, goddamn, pull it up. Yeah. Then you're in here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Send me a video. Okay. <laughs> um, there's a video on Pornhub right now called Purple Pleasure in My Pussy ad. Title. Hold on. <laughs> Title. So there's a pearl it's mattress? an ad? It's, I don't think it's actually an ad, but it says she's, she's labeling it as an ad. Is she she's, naked? Uh, she's naked. And she's fucking on a pearl mattress? She's masturbating on a mattress. A purple mattress, I guess. Well, there's not a lot of movement on that. It depends on what gadget she's using. Go, go gadget. <laughs> go, go gadget cock. What was his name? Inspector gadget. Inspector gadget. Also, what, what did she- you inspect? Coochie. Yes. What did he look like? He didn't look great. His dog had it. Remember that? His dog was a Go-Go Gadget dog, too. Also, Jimmy Neutron had a robotic dog, Goddard. Hey, make a robotic bitch and make love to her. I I can't wait for the robots to come out. They're here. Yeah, but I want them like... I'm one of them. I I wouldn't... God, man. That's so... That's... (laughs) What would you do if you like found a girl, you loved her, you had a great night, your thing's going awesome, and you're like about to go to sleep and you hear her go... And you're like, what in the auto zone is going on right now? I mean, I'd plug her in. To what? The outlet? I, I was teeing you up for dick. Oh, sorry. I'd plug her in. My dick. Applause break, applause break. <laughs> Gabe such a new applause break. I think, um, yeah, I mean, I think you'd probably have to use like a Tesla charger. I don't think you use like a regular 
ACDC. What's it called? AC, a, AC adapter? Mm -hmm. uh, you couldn't use a regular one. You'd have to do the Tesla plug-in. I think you need a lot of energy. How much energy? Like, you know how, like, when uh, rats or mice or whatever go on the wheel and they create energy? How do they know e that they're doing free work? Just like the windmills. They're like, I'm out here for fun. We fuck mice. Like, we, oh. we do experiments. <laughs> also, let me, let me say this. <laughs> Gabe, clip it. No, I'd like to say this. I love how we go, oh, no, this cures uh, fucking MS because we did experiments on mice. Yeah. Mice aren't us. <laughs> Why are we out here being like mice are the same? No, we're not. Yeah. Don't trust. How are we? How are we mice? I don't know why my sister had a rat as a pet growing up. That thing was. What color was it? White, I think. It was terrifying. I think those are the worst. Oh, yeah. I had like red eyes. Oh! Demon mode. It was. Uh... The woman on the plane said she had a daughter and her daughter has red eyes. Oh. Well. From that, the weed? That is a demon. Yeah. If a baby, okay, <clears throat> you ever, you heard that story about how the, in like Russia, uh, they adopted a kid and they thought it was a five-year-old or whatever. It turned out the, the kid was like 37 years old. Yeah, there's a movie about it, Orphan. Oh, right. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm getting on its good side. I'm like, yeah, oh, well, you want ice cream? Woo, let's do it. They're like, I'm 37. I'm like, All right, you want know, a mortgage? What do you need? <laughs> uh, real, wow, I don't know. Store credit. Would, would you not know? They didn't know. I mean, also, if the motherfucker's starting to read the New York Times, you're like, hold up. Did you just ask for Earl Grey tea? <laughs> yeah, you're trying As to get a five-year-old. <laughs> you're like, go to breastfeed? They're like, yeah, can we get oat milk? Oat milk? Hold up. <laughs> and you asked for a decaf Americano? <laughs> How do you feel about people who drink decaf? My girl drinks it, so really? great. Yeah, because she gets too high, like... She doesn't. But you don't get uh, any caffeine from that, right? No, there's there's caffeine. It's very in decaf. minimal. It's minimal, yeah. But even dude, even decaf has like, you know, decaf Starbucks it still has a decent amount of caffeine. Really? No. Yeah. Oh yeah, Starbucks caffeine levels are probably the highest. And if you go decaf, it's still pretty hot. Nah. Oh, all right. Well. <laughs> nah. <laughs> yeah. What's the difference? I know Gabe's already looking. It's like up. green. <clears throat> it's like gr it's like that. Then green tea. Then black tea. And then no, green tea has less than decaf. I think. Green tea got bitch level caffeine. Decaf has barely any. I yeah, think de decaf doesn't have. Dude, I'm a coffee kind of. Huh. Yeah, de a green tea has about... Well, that's a dinosaur. Mar. If you're a dinosaur, what would your name be right now? Big Dick Dinosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be a Donkerus. Why? Sounds like a Dunkaroo. I'm hungry. You know, I've never had a Dunkaroo in my whole life. I don't even know what it is, but it sounds good. Yeah, what the hell is a Dunkaroo? Based Dunkaroo? on the name, I'm in. Is it just like cookie that you dunk in sauce? Sauce? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> who, who makes the Cinnabon sauce? Fuck. God's come. <laughs> oh, Daddy Jenkins will fucking give me a Dude, facial. What would you do if you went on a date with a girl? She goes, and you guys went to a Cinnabon. She goes, can I get a Cinnabon with no cream? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm giving her the, a fucking street fighter I walk in. And I'm, the I'm worst leaving. part about being gluten free is I, I'll never have the joy of a toaster strudel again. No, you can do it. <laughs> can I'm, I just want, dude, once dude, a somebody month. Somebody told me Chick fil A has gluten free buns. Do, do they? That's what somebody told me. God damn. Dude, Chick fil A, I think they purposely make their parking lot small just so they can fucking have their own off ramp for a freeway backing up onto the street I just to it. flex. Oh, yes. Dude, you, you ever been to the In N Out in West Hollywood? Yes. That line literally goes through a neighborhood. Yeah. I saw a dude selling popcorn out there. You I they had merch in line. You know what you should do? <clears throat> this is what you should do. Everyone who's looking for an extra buck, you should go to uh, Chick-fil-A right when it opens. You order 187 <laughs> fucking Chick-fil-A sandwiches, and then in line, yeah. you go back at like 10 p.m. In line, you go, do you want a sandwich? Here you go. Get out of line. What's funny is it sounds like sus, but there are people that'd be like, I'll do it. I, I don't know why you, I mean, it's very illegal, but, but you can do it. You can do it. I'd do it. You ever do a lemonade stand growing up as a kid? No. Hmm. I sold my drums. You sold your drums? Well, they got stolen. I told the story before. Yeah, but I'm saying you never like tried to 
do a pop up, sell something on the street. Oh, of course. I well, remember one year we, uh oh, we just bought lemonade from the store and then just put it in cups. Yeah, we're well, not gonna make it. No, you usually do. With lemons. Yeah. How the fuck do you make lemonade? With, <laughs> Lemon water, squeak? sugar. Awful. It's gotta be terrible. It's so easy. It, but is it like good? Yeah. It's just a fuck ton of sugar. Right. But one year we just literally ripped off the label, poured it in a pitcher, and of we're course. like, it's lemonade. Of course. That's what but I, I remember do. one day somebody gave us a twenty dollar bill. It was me and this other kid Slater. Guess Slater. It, his name was Slater. Chill kid. Um, Can't be. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Slater. He's fucking throwing his head through drywall. I hate this kid. <laughs> it's a chill name. But uh, somebody gave us a twenty dollar bill, and that was one of the richest I've ever felt. I was like, oh, yeah. I think I was in like fifth grade, maybe twenty bucks. So I'll buy out this whole CVS right now. Oh, dude, I got confirmed. Motherfucker, my uncle gave me a fifty dollar bill. Confirmed. Yeah. What is that? Catholicism. Confirmation. What does that mean? Yeah, I saw somebody I went to college with the other day. They posted a photo. It was like him and his wife and then the kid. And it said like confirmed in that date. I was like, for yeah, what? Yeah, eighth grade. It's like a, it's a pre-check? Like, it's, a, it's a Jewish uh, bar mitzvah. Bar mitzvah, whatever. Jewish? Oh, but in. It, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Catholic confirmed. bar mitzvah. Anyways, my uncle gave me a $50 bill. Were you baptized? Like, uh, yeah, but late. How I late? Because I started Jew. When my dad was there, I was Jewish. I got a bris. Motherfucker, also, the Jewish dude, the Jewish priest, whatever the fuck, that cuts little boys' Rabbi? dicks off. Off, No, it's a Mueller or whatever the hell it's called. Mueller? Yeah. Bueller? Ferris, Bueller, <laughs> day off. Wait, how old were you when you got baptized? Is the water heated? Nah, that's pretty cold. It's gotta be cold. Well, yeah, every time you put a baby in that motherfucker, it screams. Well, I don't think anybody's stoked to just get plunged underwater. Well, no, it's not a full plunge. It, Actually, I've that, seen it. Oh, I've seen it too. I've seen adults do it. They're wearing like full-up button-up t-shirts. <laughs> Yeah, that's weird. And it's all white. You're like, you're in the Hudson River. Get the fuck out. Also, I can see your nipples. So, no, they, what they do is they like, they lean you back, they dunk your head, and they yeah. like plug your nose. It's weird. I would do a backflip. Also, I could plug my own nose. What the fuck? Because the Let Lord's do doing it. it. Who? Would, the Lord. Would you not try to do, like, if it's the same water, can you do like a, like a cannonball or a ganner flip? I try Can to, opener? I try to pee in the water as I'm going down. Oh, that's illegal. Is <laughs> it? You're in the metaverse. <laughs> what is a metaverse? I don't know, but I Can can't wait. you have wait. sex in the metaverse? Yeah, I can't yeah. wait to have hoes in the metaverse. It's just the Sims. Yeah, it's the Sims. Wait. No, it's not. Did I just come up with something? <laughs> <laughs> no. Everybody. Else. Shut up. <laughs> Let me have this. Dude, <clears throat> I can't wait to have hoes in the metaverse. <laughs> I honestly, is I'm it like, cheating if you have hoes in the metaverse? Well, it, de- it depends on what your be. relationship is. With the hoes? Yeah, but like digital. <laughs> yeah, but be, but having a hoe rela- digital having virtual vi- metaverse hoes is the same thing as like having just jerking off the porn, except you have dinner with them and you love them more than your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's a little different. My cock looks big in these pants. <laughs> We're in the metaverse. You know how they have like NBA 2K? You can like make your own player. Yeah. Can you pick how big they're packing? Uh, no, but you should. <clears throat> you should be able to. I always made my dudes the buffest possible. Who's out here being like, yeah, let me get medium tone. No. Yeah. I I'd have my QB be like seven, three stacked. Yeah. But if you make Just them seven, look three like Bradley stacked, Martin. Then they're fucking slow. You yeah. But they're like, jacked and they get hosed. We're in the metaverse. Wow. <laughs> if you could make your player anything, anything to get the most hose. Wh- wh- how are you doing it? Like in your head, what do you think gets the most hose? If you had to make someone obviously like money, sure. But like, if you made someone aesthetically, in the metaverse or sports? Uh, uh, in, in general. <clears throat> Do you know what I'm asking? Muscles. Just muscles. Give me height, uh, eye color. You know what I mean? Like, like make oh, him. Like make it? What you think would get the most no, I, no, I got you. Yes. My foot just fell asleep. What oh, God. What's happening? Am well, I, also, I hate that. I mean, Wake up. Somebody plug me in. I'm, God damn. <laughs> my battery's dying. Here's what I'm doing. I, honestly, 6'2", Australian. Shaggy hair. This is built. Old. This is just Harry Jowsey at this point. But <laughs> Hold on. Harry Jowsey is 6'2? Big boy. No. I was looking at He's him. He's 6'2? I was, yeah. He looks shorter than me on everything. No, I was looking at him. I was like, I get it. I get the hype. Oh, his face is fucking gorgeous. How's the body, though? He looks a little chunky to me. I think he's buff. Really? Now I'm pissed. He, pu- he, he pipes. Oh, oh, I know he pipes. He's banging. I know he's. He, yep. 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 I'll be watching her TikToks for more than. I love you, baby. Amber is the color of your energy. That's really somebody wrote a song about. What, what is, is that? that? 
311, Amber is the color of your energy. Just say you're horny. All songs are horny. That's what songs are for. Baby shark? Sex. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> shark week? That's what she was playing. I forgot to tell you. The woman in the airplane. Baby the, shark? Buddy, the, <clears throat> the, 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 the two-year-old, whatever that was in front of us, was losing her mind having a fucking fit. And the, that's why the woman took out the Bluetooth speaker. I didn't tell you this. And she was playing baby shark. Hey. For like Raycons, five minutes. promo code, socks. But yeah, but baby shark. That's why I was like, I took off my AirPods and I was like, what is happening? Baby shark, that I full blast. And she was putting it through the seat so the baby could hear. Really nice gesture. Also, shut it down. <laughs> Madam, shut it down. She also had 400 bangle uh, bracelets on. So every time she moved, she sounded like a rattlesnake. It is kind of hot. How do you feel about those doors that are just beads? Oh, um, I don't know what those do. Every time, every time I hear someone go through, I just immediately think of a hooker. Like no, I was thinking of like a vape shop. Oh well, or like a porn store where they're like the nudie mags are in the back. I, I want to go to like a sex shop and get something wild. Yeah. Has anyone ever pegged themselves? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Sit on a bar stool the wrong way. Sure. Do you ever come so hard you go into the metaverse? <laughs> I'll tell you what. I came so hard I came out of the metaverse. <laughs> Nobody, someone got to get on the show to explain what the fuck the metaverse is. Everyone's talking Sims. about what? <laughs> but you know how people are like, oh, Internet 3. What is it? In web, uh, web 3? Web 3. Yeah. Web 3. What are you MP3. even saying to me? Yeah. There's like Web 3 and then there's like other shit. Fucking Bitcoin. You ever had 3D Doritos? <laughs> <laughs> yes, they're so good. Ah, those are good. Funyuns? Great. Sock um. Talk. All right. Jesus Christ. Uh, Gabriel, should we get a little sock talk, Daddy? A little bit of sock talk. Yeah. We have Daddy. a submission here from Joshua. Joshua says, uh, "If given the choice between the following two nicknames, which one are you choosing and why?" The two nicknames are Dick Man or Pussy Man. Pussy Man. Pussy Man. It's not Pussy even close. Because Dick, you can like you can misconstrue it as like Dick, like you're an asshole, right? And also, I don't. It's honestly, got both not bad. I, but I don't got a dick. Like I, it's, I'm gonna disappoint people. I don't got a dick to call me like a dick man. Like if I got a fucking throttle cock of a cock, then I walk in like yo, I'm dick man. Mm. But if my name is Dick Man, some girl over here is and I take her home, and then all of a sudden she's like, oh, Dick Man, take your take your pants off, Daddy. And you're like, but oh. it's also like that for pussy man. If you don't make a girl come, she's like, what's that name for? Yeah, and but you're like I'm a pussy man. But I make a bitch come. Well, hold up. <laughs> hey, let me testify. Let me hey. touch the sky, Kanye West. But think about uh -huh. this. What? Which one is better or worse to go on stage with? Next Come to the stage. stage. Pussy man. Oof. Then you have to go up there with like a trench coat that's pink and like fuzzy, like a Cameron type outfit. Cameron was the first to do it. I love Cameron. And no one followed I met through. Him. How? At a Zoomies event in like 2017. Why the hell was Cameron at a Zoomies event? I have no idea. He was lost. He was there. YG was there. Why, G? This is when I went to the Zoomies headquarters. And they're like, hey, today, yeah. Cameron's in that booth. But like everyone there was all like young skaters. And they didn't fucking know who that was. Like some people did. But I was like, yo, Cameron. He's like, yeah, shit. It's still on my Instagram somewhere. Really? I wonder how much it. racked out he got just to sit in the goddamn booth and do well, nothing. I'll tell you what. Now that I know what, I'm, what I know, I was underpaid. <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, yeah, they're like, we'll pay for flights coming. I was like, cool. And then I just made a video in there. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm definitely going pussy man. But come next time to the stage, push man, and next come to the stage, dick man. They're both terrible to get on to get on stage with. But I think pussy man, you can kind of you can kind of do it well. Like you you can move it in a certain direction where it's fine. Dick man, what is that? Pussy man doesn't sound like a superhero. Dick man sounds like a superhero. Dick man, I'm going by Trevor Wallace, which is also dick man. Well, that wasn't an option, sir. <laughs> trying to find this photo. <clears throat> what, what year was this? Cameron? Like 2017. Oh. This is, I mean, this Whatever was Zoomies happened days. to Cameron? He's he still was around. so big. I don't even know. What happened to Trinidad James? Too much gold on his watch. Whoa. And then people just didn't believe him, and then they just didn't watch. Sir, watch. Where is it? Just type in Cameron on your phone. Oh, here it is. Oh, see, told you. Uh, 2017. Let me see. That's Cameron? Yeah. All right. Dipset? Dipset. There he is. Dipset. I dip remember set. when so many dudes got that Dipset, uh, what's it called? The chain? When they got signed? And I thought it was the coolest thing in the fucking world. Dude, I mean, he's how wearing do I get a, a shirt of himself. Thing? Is Cameron wearing a Cameron shirt? 
That's a very Cameron thing to do. How come he's wearing no pink? It's like, what are you doing? Yeah. Cameron, wear pink. Um, if you were to wear a mood ring right now, what color would it be? Black. For what? Because I have a black energy. What? Dark. Roar. I wish you didn't ask that question. <laughs> I thought you were going to be like, green for horny. What's your mood ring color, bruh? Blue. For what? Chew. <laughs> oh! Do we have blue chew ad? Because that would have been perfect. That'd be crazy. Uh, no, we don't. Well, God, never mind. We God now. damn it. Anyways, promo code socks. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's do a secret sock. All right. Secret. Everyone where shut up. We? Uh, we are at... No, where? Metaverse. Metaverse. We're in the metaverse, yeah. Hell, Michael Metaverse. This Hello. is Stiff Socks Metaverse. Uh, secret sock anonymous submission. My dad has a friend with the same last name as me. My parents were trying to hook me up with him for a while. Eventually, we got drunk and went to a comedy show and ended up hooking up in the back of my car. I just did 23 and Me and found out he's my third cousin. Uh, he's also famous. So I hooked up with a verified person and my third cousin all on the same night. Flex. Yeah. Third cousin, who cares? It's not even real. No. It's not even like, you're not even on the same tree in the family tree. You're like in the same forest. Who cares? <laughs> who cares? You know? Oh, there's a family tree. I'm not part of it. gets closer and closer. Doesn't even matter if you're on the same tree. You're not on the same branch. Next episode. Doesn't even matter. You're not the same leaf. Final episode. Yo, I fucked my daughter. (laughs) I'd fuck my second cousin. I don't care what anyone says. Do you have a second cousin? Yeah, everyone has second cousins. Call her. I don't have her number. I'm telling you right now, I have a second cousin that it's in my, that I know in my brain would be. Yeah. Got no problem saying it. Beat. <laughs> I mean, obviously, if I was single, but like, would beat. That's the biggest problem of this is if you were single. <laughs> <laughs> Not the fact that you guys are sharing a Volkswagen on the way to the family barbecue, but the fact that you're in a relationship. Let me tell you something. There's been people on this podcast that agree with me. Oh, no, I, I'm just giving you a hard time. God, would you beat? Fuck. Yeah. Same if I was you. single. Well, you beat second cousin, yeah? I don't even know who that is. Yeah, I don't know either. Who's that? Brother, sister, daughter, cousin? Squirrel? <sighs> it's like a fuck. Yeah, I don't know. It's in the same forest. Isn't it crazy? Squirrels wake up every morning and be like, nut. That's it. And they hide them bitches. They want a nut so bad, and then they hide them. Yeah. Jews. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one year, this was uh, back in my old apartment. We had a bunch of squirrels there. Yeah, I remember that. The- squirrels were crazy. And one day, the lady left a bowl of almonds out no. but they were like salted almonds <laughs> and i'm like dude you for sure just wiped out an entire tree's worth i was like that's so many almonds they're can, all salted you can, can't do that can like, how they liked them i was like they're all dead <laughs> cardiac arrest dude can, so much sodium can can squirrels have can you look that up gabriel can, can squirrels squ- have so- uh, probably not dude this was like like a like a tupperware's worth that's awful <laughs> no water, nothing. Holy shit. How do you think birds feel about bird baths? They're like, God damn, this Russian spot's tight. They're about a bird house. They're like, yo, this Airbnb is sick. Yeah, it's bad. They're not supposed to. No, their, kidney, their kidneys can't handle it. Dude, how? No. Animals are so weird. There's so random things a dog can't have. Like, oh, dogs can't have kumquats. Shut up. Or chocolates. Yeah, they can have chocolates or cashews. Avocados or- is a hoax. I have an avocado tree in my backyard. Dog eats that shit all day. It's totally Oh, fine. they can't eat avocados? That's, that's what the internet says, but it's not real. But here's the thing, though. It's all the amount. They can't yeah. have chocolate. They can, though. But they can't, like, go to fucking a Hershey's factory and, and you know, butt chug milk chocolate. That took me so, so long. long. <laughs> I had a mini metaverse stroke. Mini metaverse. Yeah. That's my daughter's name. Mini metaverse? Mini my, metaverse. Name is, my name is metaverse Mike. Cool. God damn. How bad is Meta World Peace? How how mad is Meta World Peace that everyone's on the Meta train now? He's been doing that Meta shit. Yeah, I think he, he might go like beat that. somebody's ass in the crowds. God. Remember when he did that? Yes, was that it was on the Pacers. Funny. It was so funny. The Indiana Pacers just beat a dude's ass that didn't throw the cup. Dude, that's when internet comments become real. This guy's yelling at the stands, and they just got his ass beat. Didn't you tell me it wasn't even the guy who threw? That's what I'm saying. He threw the cup. The dude that Ron Artest hit in the face was not the guy who threw the cup. I mean, if you're Ron Artest, you're not locking in on something. You're just swinging. Swinging. Can you imagine? And then I can't. Then trying to explain. No, it wasn't me. (laughs) Dead. (laughs) You get hit by. But I I don't think anyone understands how big he is. Like he's not like he's 
Massive. Also, did he sue? Like, if Ron Artest is coming at me, I'm doing like, oh, no. Oh, uh, please don't hit me on the left jaw. I think I think literally everybody sued. I watched the documentary. It's actually a fascinating documentary. I, but so many people sued. Oh, I'm punching myself right before he lands. Uh, pit, I'm means, jumping. Add extra damage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, was that the episode? That's the episode. You're an episode. Whoa. That's why is up, it man. called? If somebody freaks out, like, oh, they had an episode. What season was that? God Guys, damn! I've been Michael Blaster. <laughs> What if somebody listening to this podcast right now is like, wait, that's Michael Blaustein on the left? What the hell? We never say our names. We used to up top and then we just That's don't what I ever. feel about like some podcasts that I see these days. There's like six people on it. I'm like, this is a book club. <laughs> yeah, isn't that the, isn't that the one uh, everyone gets drunk drunk time with fucking Dude, Cameron? The, What's that the, called? Cameron. Nah, but I don't have There's drunk. so many podcasts. I get hit up for podcasts daily. And th- there are, honestly, they're just, they're, there's so many themes now. Yeah. And I thought when we first started, we were on onto something. We weren't. But some of these themes, I'm just like, what? what is? Yeah. You want to do a podcast? Sure. We have to skydive. What are you saying to me? Yeah. They're like, all right, so we're going to do ketamine and then we're going to drink a gallon of Sailor Jerry's and then talk about what comedy's like. And you're like, what is, what is this for? I don't want to do it. All right. You so want me to get a DUI so I can get 12 plays on yeah. Archer? Yeah. <laughs> Right, is the it po- anchor? The podcast. The podcast. It's so. It's it is anchor. It's definitely anchor. Well, the podcast. I'm is called doing the podcast next week. Come, but the- and you jerk off, and then whoever comes first loses. This is gonna be a short podcast, guys. Listen, that is a gosh darn episode. Hey, be louder. <laughs> what are you eating? Peanut brittle? <laughs> yeah. Trevor Wallace right now is eating peanut brittle. All right, guys, we gotta go. Uh, love you guys so much. Thank you so much. I'll also. Gentle reminder, we have a Patreon. Four extra episodes ad-free drops every mother effing Friday um, for only $5. It's amazing. We have uh, crazy, crazy episodes such as we interviewed Trev's girlfriend. Also, we interviewed Gabe at one point. And we're getting close to 8,000. And as soon as we hit 8,000, Gabe is going to get a Yaris tattoo, which we're going to vlog the whole time. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, if you're not already a Patreon, go to patreon.com backslash stiffstockspod. Only $5 a month, four extra episodes. And that is it, guys. We love you so much. Peace and goodwill. Good morrow and get your cock touched. Woo!